Hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as, ASS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Arcane, the Light Warframe. Mirage could be considered a Light Warframe, but note that she utilizes Light as a method of confusing enemies, rather than a primary form of offense. Anyways, Arcane was created by Travis Harris on DeviantArt, and is packed full of abilities, tend to be exact. Arcane can be considered similar to Equinox, but rather than functioning as a dual formed healer, Arcane can switch between three different sets of abilities to suit his needs. Due to this, Arcane serves two purposes to a team, being a support and a damage frame, something which may or may not sound overpowered to you. Because Arcane has a shit ton of abilities, I will do my best to condense his kit into an easy to understand manner, to keep this video from breaching the 10 minute mark. It's crazy, but regardless, let's begin. Arcane does not have a passive, which for once I don't mind. Considering that Arcane possesses 10 different powers including his ability change power, a lack of a passive sounds like a reasonable trade for a fuckton of powers. Arcane's first power is Flux. Flux is the way that Arcane changes his power sets from Delta, Theta, and Xi. Think of Flux like Equinox's metamorphosis, but rather than switching from one form to another. Arcane switches from one skill set to another. Arcane's first ability set is Delta. Delta is Arcane's utility ability set. Delta comes with three powers, Fracture Gleam, Light Step, and Reticulum Scar. Fracture Gleam deals slash damage to nearby enemies within a cone-shaped range, Light Step teleports Arcane to a targeted location and deals radiation damage to nearby enemies and Reticulum Scar creates lasers which fire in every direction, dealing slash and radiation damage to struck enemies. Both Fracture Gleam and Light Step have a short range, so keep in mind that Arcane isn't capable of picking off enemies from a distance with the Delta set, unless you build for power range. Discounting Reticulum Scar, Arcane's Delta set is limited by range, but still sounds fit for in-game usage. Arcane's second ability set is Theta. Theta is Arcane's damage ability set. Theta comes with three powers, Excoriate, Focus Fire, and Pulsar Scourge. Excoriate deals massive puncture damage to a single targeted enemy. Focus Fire buffs the damage and status chance of Arcane's weapons, and Pulsar Scourge deals puncture and heat damage in a straight line, causing killed enemies to explode and have a chance of setting other nearby enemies on fire. As you can clearly see, the Theta set is no pushover when it comes to dealing damage. The potential of wiping out high amounts of enemies with Pulsar Scourge and then mopping up any stragglers with Focus Fire or Excoriate is there. It's ludicrous, but it's there. Arcane's third ability set is Xi. Xi is Arcane's supportive ability set. Xi comes with three powers, Deflector Shock, Crystallize, and Aurora Break. Deflector Shock staggers and reduces the shield capacity of nearby enemies, Crystallize temporarily increases the armor of nearby allies, and Aurora Break massively slows enemies in a targeted area. A bit of a disclaimer on this bit. Aurora Break is not a better version of Nova's Molecular Prime. Molecular Prime does indeed massively slow enemies depending on your build, but it only does so once the wave sent out gets to the enemies meaning it takes time for the slow to take effect. Meanwhile Aurora Break is an instant massive slow, but in a set area compared to Molecular Prime's sluggish yet multi-directional slow effect. Besides that, the Xi set by itself can potentially make Arcane an outstanding support frame, especially with Crystallize potentially making god builds like Chroma or Valkyr into tankier tanks. Arcane's different power sets allow for players to get different types of arcane builds, putting out some diversity in the meta we're in. That's all well and good, but Arcane still has one major issue, which I will get into with his scores. Arcane's stats aren't known or finalized. This means that even though Arcane is a brilliant concept, 
he is nothing more than a concept as it is currently, because it's impossible to determine if he's a squishy caster, an all-rounder, or even a tank for that matter. Furthermore, with a lack of stats to go with Arcane's abilities, it's impossible to determine which of his abilities, if any, are weak to the point of being useless. For my personal thoughts, Arcane's usage of different playstyles from his flux power completely rustles my jimmies. In addition, the lack of a passive makes me wonder whether or not Arcane's multiple abilities are the reason for a non-existent passive, in which case, I don't really care. A passive less Warframe would be an interesting addition to see. So that's Arcane's checkup. Tune in next time where I will perform a concept checkup on Pollux. Thank you for watching.